All right, Mike, so. All right, Mike, so when you first get on your screen like this right here, you see where it say compliance. If you have any logs right there, it's showing up red, you'll click on it and you'll sign it. You'll hit sign. If you have to write your signature, you'll write it in that little box right there. Once you write it one time, it automatically gonna save it. Then at the top right hand corner, hit agree. Okay, so you wanna make sure you don't see no red on your log. So now we're gonna click on logs. Okay, we're gonna click at the top where you see where it say off duty. We're gonna click that. We're gonna click on duty. Right here in notes, we're gonna click on notes. Pre-trip. Once you start typing it in, you should see it. Pre-trip inspection. And make sure you hit save. Okay, so a pre-trip pre should take about no more than about 10 to 15 minutes. That when you walk around, it, it, uh, check out the truck make sure everything okay you're gonna check your engine oil of course just just like a vehicle just like a car you're gonna check your engine oil check all your fluids check all your lights then you'll check and make sure your, your tires look good and after you check all that I must cut the video for a minute for it could, uh that little time can go by i'm gonna do my pre-trip and then i'm gonna cut it back on okay mike so once you have done your pre-trip you check the uh, truck out you look at the top right hand corner you see it say inspections you click on inspections click the plus sign click on vehicle inspection Okay, you're gonna make sure that your, you in the right vehicle, it, it should say zero one. And I go back and show you how to check in the correct vehicle if you're not in the correct vehicle. Matter of fact, let me show you that now. You see right, right here, top right hand corner, it say current vehicle, zero two. You're gonna click on that. And make sure you're in you you're gonna be in zero one. You know the truck numbers on side of the truck. So you're gonna be in zero one. So you'll click on zero one and then you'll check into the vehicle. If it don't let you check in, you wanna make sure the Bluetooth is, is set up. So you'll go to your Bluetooth. My phone, your phone will be different. But just show you an example. You go to your Bluetooth, go to go to your settings, click on Bluetooth. And look for it inside the set, and you, it gonna say KT zero sixty. This see how this one right here. You see, I got two of them, but yours gonna be that KT zero sixty. So click on that and, and get connected. And then once you connect it, then you'll be able to go and sign into the vehicle. You'll click on zero one vehicle zero one. Okay, so once you have doing now done that. Like I say, on your log, make sure you go to inspections. You hit the plus sign, vehicle inspections. Make sure it say your truck number, yours gonna be zero one. Hit next at the top. At the bottom, very bar, it say inspection type, pre-trip. If you had any kind of, uh, if you notice anything, then you will go on a parts, the second tab, and then you will put you will put uh, defect. Okay, if you didn't have anything, then you will just go ahead and bypass and go to sign, sign a special report. See my signature already in file on, on file, so I'm gonna hit done. And I'm gonna hit save. It, it gonna ask you, do you want to do a trailer inspection? No, we don't have a trailer. Our box is attached to the truck to put. Not now. And this is how your log should look starting off. You see it's showing that the uh, vehicle uh, have been uh, inspected. And 
and you ready to roll. I'll cut you back on in a minute once I start driving and you'll see how my log automatic change over. All right, so I'm finna stop and get some gas, Mike. So I'm gonna click at the bottom where it say driving. Only time you can be able to click that when you sit still. So I, I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna hit on duty. I'm gonna hit fill. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, pumping my gas and everything. And once I get through pumping, I'm going to go inside and grab my receipt. And then once I start back driving, it automatic track that I'm driving. But I'll cut you back on in a minute and you'll see that process. All right, Mike, so I grab my receipt. Now I'm pulling off. As you can see, it automatic started tracking that you're driving. So the next time I cut you back on when I stop for the night and I'll show you how to go off duty. All right, Mike, so. Keep left at the I'm fork, then turn left onto Virginia 99 South. For my break. As you can see, I have four minutes left. Turn left. Then so, turn right onto the ramp. I'm still Head driving. North on so Virginia 99 North. Traffic. Okay, so I'm about to pull somewhere if I can. In take a quarter my mile, turn right. Head east, then make a U-turn. I'm bagging up now, Mike. I'm trying to, I want to do the video in live time. So, bear with me. But you don't want it to go down to zero. But I know I have enough time. So that's why I waited before I- uh, Turn right went on my break. All right, so once again, you're gonna hit driving at the bottom, change that, update that duty status to on. Then for the notes, I'm gonna put 30 minute break. Then save it. Then you can see at the bottom, you see how it's counting down my break. Once that 30 minute is up, then you can start driving again. So you could look on your log and it'll tell you when it's uh, over with. You see how I say it right there at the top, it say left and break. So that, that'll be how you take a break. And then the next time I Cut the, cut the video back on it'll be when I'm stopping for the night now you see how I say driving you'll click on driving click on off duty hit notes hit rest rest break and save it all right this is how your log should look it shouldn't be in no red if you see in the red you got to fix you see I see I see that red up top anytime you have a load you see where it say form You'll put that load number, it's called BOL uh, number, or it might say, uh, it ought to say BOL number, or it say uh, uh, shipping number. But you'll click it right here, sh shipping documents. I don't have a load on me, so that's why mine's red. I'm going to put zero. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back. Now you see I see you see blue and green. You don't need to see no red on that log. So this is how a proper log should look. So it like I say, before you shut down at the end of the night, make sure you are off duty. You see at the top, you say off duty. And then if I click right here, top left. Hold one second, let me see. If I click top right, hit home, and then I slide it up, you'll see. Everything is, is ran out. My drive time, 
my shift time about to run out so once my shift time run completely out up top where you see where it counting down then it'll start counting uh my breakdown so how many times how much time left i had left for my break so like i said it's a 10 hour break at the end of the night so as it, right now it's 6 24 so what i do i say 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 so 10 hours from now it'll be four o'clock so so 4 30 is when i can uh start back driving so 4 30 in the morning when i you know do my my pre-trip and start driving but w once you open the law it'll show you uh how much time you have left if, if your brake haven't reset it yet you want to make sure your brake fully reset before you start driving but if you i will still assist you once you uh get out on the road i just want to do this video for to put it together for you